This tutorial will show you how to set up your Jupyter Notebooks file structure in NanoHub. This file structure will consist of an organized set of folders or directories. Those two terms mean the same thing. Be sure you are already logged in to NanoHub. Then go to your NanoHub dashboard by clicking on Logged In. And then scroll down to Dashboard and click. Next, you will add the tool module to your dashboard. Click on the blue button to add modules. Click on My Tools, and then click on the blue button to install module. Next, you will resize the My Tools module. Click in the module, and then drag the lower right-hand corner to the right and down to make it a larger window. Now we're going to add Jupyter Notebooks to your favorites. Click on the All Tools tab, and in the Search Tools box, start to type Jupyter, J-U-P-Y-T-E-R, and then look for Jupyter Notebook, and click on the heart to turn it to a bright red heart. That puts the Jupyter Notebook tool into your favorites. To check, click on the Favorites tab, and you'll see the notebook is there. From here, you can either click on Jupyter Notebook to go to the tool page, or you can click on the little terminal window to launch the Jupyter Notebook. I prefer to go to the tool page, so click on Jupyter Notebook. And he, here we are in the tool page. Now to launch the tool, you can click on the blue button. This will take a moment as Jupyter starts up. Once the tool has loaded, you'll be in the Jupyter dashboard. Here you will see the folders and files in your NanoHub file space. If you have not used NanoHub much, there will only be one folder called data. So here's our data folder. We're gonna set up a folder or directory called notebooks, where you will store all of your Jupyter notebook projects and assignments in separate subfolders. To create a directory called Notebooks, click on New to open the drop-down menu. Go down to Folder and click on Folder. And this will create a new directory called Untitled Folder. To change the name of this folder, click on the box next to Untitled Folder. Then click on Rename and then replace the text Untitled Folder with Notebooks. Click on Rename, and now you'll see that your folder or directory is called Notebooks. Next, we will create a subfolder called Project 1 within this Notebooks directory. Click on Notebooks, and then we'll follow the same procedure as above to create another directory. Click on New, go down to Folder, and click. Now you're going to rename the Untitled folder. Click on Rename. And this time, we want to call this new folder Project 1. And click on the blue button to rename. Click on Project 1 to enter that folder, and you'll see your, the path is shown here in the gray bar. So there's your home folder, and then under that is Notebooks, and under that is Project 1, and that is your current directory. You can actually use this path to navigate to other notebooks. So to go back to the Notebooks folder, click on Notebooks. And now you're in the Notebooks folder, 
and you can see that there is a subfolder called Project 1. Let's create one more directory in the notebooks directory called PY4E. And here you can pause the video and try to complete this task on your own before going forward and watching me create this file folder.